and welcome back to the Gloomhaven Solo Deadly Challenge. This time it is going to be the Tinkerer soloing Arcane Library. So I, I had a lot of fun with the Tinkerer trying to find the right scenario. I ran into bugs, glitches, impossible scenarios, and, and so I settled on Arcane Library. Originally I was planning on doing scenario number seven. Uh, where you have to loot five treasure chests using loot actions, and I didn't actually know that the tink all of the Tinkerer's loot actions are lost cards. And so it was not possible for me to do it, even with items. And then after that, I tried Clockwork Cove, which is a, a random side scenario, and I beat it first try really easily, and it was kind of boring. There wasn't really very much of anything to the level. And so I decided to try Arcane Library. Uh, this is a random size scenario you get unlock you get by uh, just randomly grabbing it from a treasure chest or from retiring a character. And I've played this scenario many times. I lost it my first try in physical. I've lost it multiple times on my last deadly playthrough with three characters. This is just a very difficult scenario. So this starting room has imps and cave bears, but I don't really need to worry about any of them. I just ran and flew as far away as I could into this second room. Second room has a bunch of difficult terrain, a bunch of stunning traps. It just does not want you to get through it. And then there is a pressure plate. Once you step on this pressure plate, it will open the door to the third room where the boss is sitting. So, and then once you leave the pressure plate, that door will close again. And so I can just ignore all of the rest of the enemies because once I'm in that room, I'm not opening that door ever again. So that is the plan. Uh, just rush onto this plate and, and go in and fight the boss. So I come and I step on this plate and I encounter my first, but not last, bug of this video. Uh, first, I wanted to make sure I had the right card. I wanted to be able to poison the boss as soon as I got into the room. And so I end my turn, I open this door and the boss is not supposed to be able to leave the room. Since once you leave that pressure plate, it locks that door. They did not want the boss to be locked away from you or to be for, they didn't want you to not be able to get to him and for some reason he just walks out I've played this scenario before and it did not happen to me uh, so I, I restarted round but <laughs> I just wanted to show that little bit of a bug and I have experienced another another bug on a different boss fight that makes me think that there's something about the way they coded special rules for the bosses that they do not take effect as soon as the boss is revealed because there's another boss that you don't damage by hitting the boss you damage by hitting something else in the scenario and on on turn one i expose the boss and i i hit that thing that's supposed to damage the boss and the boss just suffered no damage uh so in order to combat that i went invisible with my tinkerer so i had to use my invisibility cloak which is really unlucky because i would really love to use the invisibility cloak locked in the room with this arcane golem so this is an elite arcane golem with double health that is what makes him a special boss so he's he's a normal enemy but but it is a boss fight he has double health so since he's just a normal enemy he's not immune to any conditions which is really nice most bosses you can't stun them or you can't disarm them or you can't wound them but this guy you can do everything to so my first priority was to get a wound on him and I've got him disarmed now, so I'm not taking any damage. But he has four shield. So even though the Tinkerer has a very large hand size, there's no way I'm gonna be able to survive 44 turns of wound. And I only have one piercing bow and I don't have any way of getting it back. So I decided to have my primary strategy be traps, since traps deal true damage and they go through shielding. So I got my poison on him and I'm in this nice little choke point where I can place two traps right in the front of all of these bookcases and then since I picked up the gold pile that's where I'm standing right now I can place another trap there and force the boss to step on it unfortunately even though all of these enemies are doing nothing for the rest of the scenario they will always get turns so <laughs> lots of editing for me to go through and speed it all up but uh another really nice thing about this boss fight that makes it pretty doable for the tinkerer is just that the arcane golem is generally pretty slow so I go for Curative Aerosol here. It gives me a heal, which is nice. Uh, the boss is normally going to be hitting me for about 8 or 9 damage. And then I can pick up this other gold pile. That way I'll be able to lay a trap there if I need to. And uh, since I was able to use a top move, I'm able to use this bottom 
this bottom trap. Unfortunately, this trap, this stunning trap doesn't deal any damage, but since I can force the golem to walk onto it during his turn, it means he will be stunned for two turns, which is really nice because it gives me the free time that I can actually long rest. And so I don't know if long resting here was really best or not, but I needed my boots back so that I would have a jump. I probably should have just like long rested before coming in and facing the boss would have been better. And then I wouldn't have basically lost a, a card of stamina early that I didn't need to. But now I'm able to jump onto the other side of the boss and lay more traps. <laughs> so everybody's going to take their turn. Mine Thief is hiding in the corner, as he usually does. I get my boots back, so I'm able to go onto the other side. And I have a high amount of health. I'm almost full health, so I can, I can take a hit. It won't be the end of the world if he hits me. Uh, even if he crits, yeah, even if he crits, I would survive. I would only have one health, but I would survive, so I'm not too afraid. It takes so long for all these monsters to take their turn. And he misses, so that's pretty good luck. And then I've got a lot of effects that I can do between stun shot and the bottom of disintegration beam. I've got many ways that I can prevent this boss from dealing damage to me. So that's the basic game plan, is just to lay down a bunch of traps, make him deal true damage. But it's it's really difficult to make sure that you, you always are positioned correctly, because it does not take long for this boss to kill me. If he can get two hits in a row on me, I will die. And it's, it's not completely free or easy to get these traps. You can see I've laid them in a position, and I made sure to position myself in a way that the boss will not move. He's just going to stay where he is, since he's disarmed. And now I have I have two traps laid out so that when I hook gun to pull him in, he can suffer damage from two traps instead of just one. So that's the kind of optimization that I was going for in this level. And it's really nice that he missed that last turn, so now I have full health and I don't have to worry about getting hit. And eight true damage. Not terrible, not terrible. Tinkerer is most definitely a supportive class, and it's it was really disheartening going through all of my level ups and seeing the number of cards that would affect allies and let them get lost cards back and let them get all their discard cards back and and it that's that's just not useful for a solo run. Tinkerer was Tinkerer was not built for a solo run, but this scenario is a really good one for him, which I find really funny because I used a Tinkerer on my last deadly playthrough and I, I struggled on this level. I really wish that this trap weren't only two damage. I, it really wasn't even worth bringing. And the Arcane Golem went fast and he immobilized me. I also lose my stunning trap here, which makes it almost impossible for me to long rest. With three health, it means I will be dying unless the Golem just so happens to draw his Retaliate card on that turn. So I would only have a one in eight chance of surviving. And then here is that other bug that I ran into in this scenario. And so at the time, I I had no idea what was going on. And now I, I have a hypothesis. I believe that you cannot place a trap on a square that has had a trap before. That's that's my only guess, is that once, once a hex has had a trap, you can't place another one. And so that messes me up right here because I wanted those two next to each other so that I could potentially hook gun the, the golem into both of them. Uh, but it's just it, the game would not let me place the trap there. So I didn't I I think at initially I was thinking that that was the hex the boss had spawned in on and So I wasn't able to place it there for that reason, but it will happen to me again later on So I'm using my stamina potion here to get back a card that is because I am going to be getting hit here And I'm most likely going to die the only thing that wouldn't kill me I'm pretty sure is a miss and so I want a card back in my hand so that I don't have to lose two cards and then I still have the two cards that I want for my turn for next turn oh luckily I had that muddle from my trap because that got rid of his crit card and now I have my two cards for my turn initially when I made this turn I was thinking that I would go for crank bow and use my piercing bow to to just deal big damage but i decided that i would go for one more stun here just to get one more wound tick in 
and it worked out very well getting that plus two heal eight health leaves me pretty safe because i will survive any attack from him as long as he gets a minus one and then some of his weaker attacks i will just always survive unless he crits so lose stun shot here that's bad because it's my only card that's faster than his 28 he has two cards that are 28 and so i cannot outspeed those now but i also did not want to lose crank bow because nine damage is the most damage i've dealt to him in a single turn so far and i didn't want to use lose disintegration beam because that disarm is amazing and then now that he only has four health left he will die to the top of disintegration beam but since i used a lost card this last turn i can't rest to get disintegration beam back because i only have one card in my discard and then I, so I did get a little bit lucky here. I needed him to go slower than 71, or I needed him to do an attack that would not kill me at eight health. So it was definitely possible for either of those to happen. And I had a trap there earlier, and the game is just not letting me face my trap there. So that was my plan, was to place this muddle trap and have him walk over to me and kill himself on it but that's not going to work. <laughs> so I, I will allow myself to restart round here. That is not my fault. That is a bug. Uh, I don't feel like this is cheating. <laughs> and so I have to go for a slightly different plan, um, but there's no way I can position to force him to step on this trap. And I still would really like to not die. So I use my trap in a way that he will not be able to reach me. And now I can just short rest and I've got multiple options to kill him. I can hook gun him onto that trap that's right in front of me and that would kill him. Uh, but hook gun is the card that I got from my short rest and more than anything, I wanted to go faster than him. So I didn't risk resting again uh, because then I maybe would lose disintegration beam, which was my 36 speed card. And then no matter what I do here, I can kill him. I can place another trap, and then he would have to walk on one of them. But if you can laser beam, you should always laser beam. And that is the Tinkerer soloing a boss fight all, all by himself. Uh, and that is it. That is all six All six of the starting characters have now soloed their own level on on deadly difficulty. Uh, I. I want to do potentially every scenario in the game, potentially every character. Well, definitely every character. Um, so feel free to like and subscribe. I don't know who is coming next or what scenario. So if you have any levels and character classes that you want me to pair together, feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I will give it a try. That's all for this time. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.